Hey guys, what's up? In today's video, we will be talking about predicting the profession using Vedic astrology. This is a slight deviation from our series on retrograde planets. No, we have not stopped that series, but uh, this is just what I was learning since last few days and I thought of sharing with you guys. So what are some of the myths? So this is again going to be a series about Vedic Vedic astrology and how to predict the profession. In general, the career prospect of a person is seen from the 10th house. That's in general. So if you go to any of the astrologer Jyotish, you will say, uh, okay, let's check your 10th house. In general, even if you are starting with astrology, profession is predicted from 10th house. That's what everyone would say. Now let's see if this still holds true in today's world. Nowadays, this method is not working. No astrologers could predict the profession of a person by looking at the 10th house of his or her birth chart. Being the most powerful Kendra, it may certainly have a say in this, but no one could pinpoint the exact nature of the profession from the 10th house. According to Fala Deepika, one ought to declare the acquisition of wealth by looking at the planets in the 10th house from the Lagna or Chandra Lagna, whichever is stronger. Okay, I will repeat it again. One ought to declare the acquisition of wealth by looking at the planets in the 10th house from the Lagna or Chandra Lagna, whichever is strong, whichever, which is your ascendant, which is the sign you are born or by from the moon ascendant, whichever you take a look. The source of such an acquisition will be from father, mother, enemy, friend, brother, wife and servant. If the planet in question is Sun, Moon, Mars, Mercury, Jupiter, Venus and Saturn respect respectively. His profession will be that prescribed by the Lord of the Namasha, occupied by the Lord of the 10th house from Lagna, from the Moon and from the Sun, whichever is stronger. Don't worry too much about all the stuff. I mean, like, yes, we will be taking a lot of examples and uh, going in detail over it. If the Lord of 10th house be positioned in Sun's Namasha, the per person born will earn his livelihood through fruit trees by the repetitions of mantras, by fraud, by gambling, by uttering falsehood, through wool, medicine and the like by working with metals or through service under a king or a respectable person. If the Namasha occupied by the Lord of the 10th house be that of moon, the income of the person concerned will be through trade in water products, pearls, corals, etc. through agriculture and cattle farming pilgrimage to holy shrines, service under a damsel or trading in clothes. If the Namasha in question be that of Mars, the source of income may be through metals, fighting in battles, cooking, lands, gold, inflicting trouble to others, weapons, act of adventure, association with wicked men, spying, or through theft. In the case of person born with a lot of 10th position in a Namasha owned by Mercury, the earning will be through composing poems, study of sacred scriptures by being a scribe or through some clerical work, brokerage, through a knowledge of astrology, through the study of Vedas on others behalf by a repetition of mantras or by playing the role of a priest 
or by some other pretext. If the planet concerned be Navmasha of Jupiter, the person born maintains himself through the help of Brahmins, gods, or through royal favor by reciting Puranas, by the study of Shastras, by the preaching of morality, by religious instructions, or by lending money. The earnings of person with the Lord of Tenth House position in Navmasha owned by Venus will be through a woman. Cows, buffaloes, elephants, horses, through triple symphony that is dancing in accompaniment to vocal and instrument music, through silver, scents, milk, ornaments, and silken fineries by virtue of being a companion to a king or by his poetic talents. The person in whose nativity the lord of the tenth house deposited in Saturn's Navasha lives by dealing in roots and fruits, by physical exertion, sweating labor, through servants, rogues, and through the earnings of men of low morality, through bad grains, by carrying burden, by resorting to a base evocation, through sculpture, wooden material, and by functioning as an execution or a butcher. According to Briha Jataka, from the Sun, Moon, Mars, Mercury, Jupiter, Venus, and Saturn, the acquisition of wealth must be predicted through father, mother, enemy, friend, brother, woman, and servant respectively when he occupies the tenth house from Lagna or Moon. When the Lord of, one of, of the Navasha occupied by the Lord of the tenth from Lagna or Moon is Sun, the person gets wealth through scents, gold, wool, medicine, etc. If Moon wealth flows through agriculture, watery products, and dependence upon women, etc. If Mars, he gets money through minerals, fire, weapons, adventures, and physical strength. If Mercury, money is obtained through writing, math, poetry, and fine arts. If Jupiter, he gets money from Brahmins, priests, gods, in mines, or manufacture and from charities. If Venus, he makes money by gems, silver, cows, buffaloes. And if Saturn, he gets money from labor by execution, carrying, and by low artisanship. The source of income may be such that of the planet controlling the Lord of Navmasha occupied by the tenth during transit. So, whatever the methods we have seen, unfortunately, these methods are not working in this modern world. The method used by them may be the apt one during their lifetime because there were not many opportunities like today. For example, machines like computers were not available during their lifetime. So, how could an astrologer tell about the profession of a person by looking at the Namasha Lord of the Tenth Lord, that is, if he's a software engineer. No, it's not, it's not that possible, right? So, that's basically uh, the context behind the rest of the series that's going to follow. So, in today's video, we did study about what was the preconceived notion what was the assumption until now, like 10th house is going to dictate your profession? That was a general understanding. As for me, that's not totally true. So friends, this is the first part of the video. I am pretty sure this series is going to be long. At least I expect to make seven to eight videos. I'm still learning more and more. I just thought of sharing with you guys today. 
If you do like this video, please do not forget to like, share and subscribe. This motivates me to make more videos. And with that, see you in the next video.